Welcome to today's Eliminator. This is today's session, consecutive, warts and all. Wins, losses, and fails. I will only include the faster, punchier races and action. Her windows just took an AMG-1 off someone with his level 2 RS-6. So we already have an AMG-1, a Brocky, and a Centenario. That's plenty of hot cars for the final. Nice little victory roll. Here is a top racer. We are having turnabout at beating each other. I got the last one, so he will be wanting to get this one. Somewhere there is another Brocky as well. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. To heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. We pick up the very next game, a mountain arena on the second last arena. This game has some good racers in it. I have a massive distraction. My wife, who is away on an eight-day business trip, is on the phone to me. I have muted the sound on the game and are giving her nearly all of my attention. I only noticed this awesome move by Tur Windows in editing this video. Kelvin Howe XL, who is also a top racer, has gone up the hill in his Camaro and is struggling to get up. Tear Windows is about to bomb him. Except Tear Windows missed the pin, which is a shame as it was a nice move. Head 
head-to-heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. I am thinking I will head over the back of the mountain and attempt a manipulation. However, I was so focused on my wife, I didn't even know the final had started. Final showdown in three, two, one, I was thinking the numbers on the screen was the arena shrinking. It was a face slap when I finally realized. This is when I realized, when I seen the map highlighted, it was a Homer Simpson one. I am still on the phone to my wife for most of this game. I am trying to give equal attention so I don't appear to be gaming. This drop makes the game a lot easier. My game is still muted, but the sound is not as important in the head to -heads. After a few races, the Bronco became this RS200. The pink dot in front of me is a Funko. I'm currently doing a hunting level 10's challenge, but this won't make the cut, as it's level 10 versus level 10.
Believe it or not, I did all that with my wife on the phone on mute. She probably thought my husband was very vague and distant. The key is, get them talking and make some agreement noises a few times. I have an amazing wife. Now I am back and fully focused. The sound is back on. I am ready for this two-car final. Head-to-heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. Actually not fully focused. I realized I was late leaving. I was watching what car my opposition got and whether they were going to try and manipulate the final. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Mate, I drive better with my wife on the phone. What happened there? Crazy stuff. And the Brocky just fell off the bridge. Maybe they were watching me, laughing too hard. And I just caught that lip again and threw my car into this tree. I better ring my wife back. Oh no, this driver is heading for the lake. Are they new to the Eliminator? Do you not know the lake is in? I have lost all interest now. It's very disappointing. If I set a timer at the pin, it would take them five minutes to get there. What can I do to make this more fun? I was thinking of reversing to the pin, but I am finding that difficult on the slope. My reversing skill needs some work. They are okay on the flat, but this slope is showing them up. That was a total fail on their part. Let's just get on with the next game. The Eliminator! This next game seconds. we pick up at the final. There is a RS200, a Brocky, a level 7 Mercedes, and a level 5 Maserati, and of course, my Murcielago. You would think this Murcielago is faster than that level 7 Mercedes, but clearly here it is not. That sucks. I would have not picked that Mercedes to win. Well done. Game six, we pick this up near the end.
You have to take the path that works with each car's strengths and weaknesses. This Camaro is best kept on the road in this situation. It certainly is not looking good. I went hunting up this road and now I am heading back down it again. I am on someone's radar, but I need them to keep coming. I need to be easily caught so they think I am slow. This player has been in every game, in this session so far. Now for the final, I am currently confused what to do here. I have been going late on purpose, and it's been enabling me to win when it goes right, as the main final location is to the right, in the city or canyons. But if it's the sports stadium, highway, or to the left, then I have handicapped myself, and I will lose it. I need to rethink this. The best option is, have a fast path right if it goes right, which I do not have at this point in time. I was too busy looking at the pin location and realizing the fastest way is the motorway. I have already lost this. I can't win going this way. I could have made that an awesome final if I didn't hold to that strategy. That will be the last time I do that. I mentioned this person in yesterday's video. They need to change their gamer tag to loser. Silly cheaters. If I ever quit playing, it will be because there are too many cheaters. Hold on, isn't this another cheater? Unbelievable.
At least they are heading for the lake. Wrong way, noob. In fact, the better strategy is for me to go the same way, but jump the lake in front of them. Have them stranded on this side. Fancy getting two cheaters in a row. Unbelievable. We pick up game nine after a couple of races. Actually, I think it's about five races. That's a Brocky and a very confident Metro chasing it. Maybe I can nab one of them in a shock move. That Metro knows they don't have a chance in the final, unless they throw everything at it trying to upgrade. They have 30 seconds. I prefer this to the Funko, even though it's slower and flips end over end too much. Now for the final. So there is a Brocky, and I am not sure what else. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Oops, I don't normally go this way. That is a great way to lose my advantage. Lost to you again in the pro truck. Well done, good luck. Like I always say, a clean run in a slow car is faster than a crashing run in a fast car. This car is so flippy and easily unsettled. Ignoring the ricochet off the house, this thing has done a flip and now another flip and a rotate. It's very hard to win doing that. And this is not the only final it does it to me in today. Well done, well played. He's a good racer and knows his way to the finish line anyway. We pick up game 10 at the final showdown. Oops, that was an oversight. Now I have arena damage. I will need to go on one at the earliest. Head to heads complete. Get ready for the final showdown. Final showdown begins in 30 seconds. I had a break from gaming and now I am back. It's evening now, about seven hours since the last game. Final 
showdown in three, two, one, go! That was a good block by both of them. That AMG-1 would have been slow as I see it was still in track mode. That sucks. Game 11, we pick it up at the final showdown. Not sure what I am up against. I am missing a game in between this one and the previous game. I am not sure what happened to the recording. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! This means so little to me that I want to quit this game. But I know I would upset a few people, as it's all about the win to them. I would rather have a super thrilling second place than a boring first place like this. We pick up game 12 at the final showdown. I am suspicious of that pink dot. It just didn't move right. Maybe a cheater in the final. Final showdown in three, two, one, go! Yeah, they are away too fast. A definite cheater. What is the use of playing round after round after round cheating? Where is the value? It's like playing in God mode and no one can kill you. Surely they will get bored soon. Oh, same cheater I met while doing my hunting level 10 cars challenge. Game 13. That's over three hours of gaming today. I overjumped it. Nice trap for young players. We both overjumped it. 
I have better traction to get back. Just got to stop this thing so I can turn around. A big SUV is always going to win the argy-bargy contest. If you find, you are getting eliminated a lot. Learn to evade, learn to get to the final. Get into a habit of making the final every race. Add the skill of racing to it as you go. It's better to turn up to the final in a slower car than be eliminated continually. I ignore so many races. I evade so many races. I like to get myself into a position that I can actually fight back and win the head-to-head. -head. All this setting up of every race takes a bit of time to become second nature, automatic. Someone just quit. I suspect it was the RS-6 trying to manipulate the final, and quit because it didn't work. I am coming last, but I am still confident and hopeful I will win this. I go from 4th to 1st in 100 meters. I think I enjoyed the demolition job of other level 10s while I was muted and on the phone to my wife, while all the time trying to hide the fact that I was racing. It was true multitasking, and I was amazed it worked out so well. 
13 games, three cheaters, so 10 games, a bunch of wins, and a bunch of second places. There has been some fun racing. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's session. See you out there. Congratulations! You are the eliminator!